Hello everyone, welcome back. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea. I'm currently at the airport, at Sunset Airport, waiting to go to Finland. I'm currently in a queue to be able to drop off my bag. This is why I hate having luggage that goes in the hold because I hate queuing for the hold luggage and it always makes me late for my flight. This is my stuff. And like, it goes all the way down to F. Yeah, we love that. I will catch you up once I am through security, probably. Which, I don't know how long it's gonna take, let's see. Just look at the size of this bag. Oh, it's absolutely huge. Oh my gosh, I am very hot. I can tell you that these snow boots, they work very well. My feet are so warm. Oh my gosh, I've been carrying like my coats and my scarf has been like around my neck. Basically, it took 40 minutes to wait in the queue for the bag drop um, and then like all the machines had broken as well so it wasn't that bad considering that they had like hardly any machines. Yeah, 40 minutes to drop my bag and then like another 20 minutes or so in security. My bag got stopped to check it. There was absolutely nothing wrong. As soon as I got out of security, they it said on the screen, go to gate. So I quickly got a meal deal from Boots and now I'm sat in the gate. <sighs> Just trying to cool up because it's warm. Still have about 40 minutes until the flight goes, but I'm just glad that I'm here. Also, can I just show you my luggage situation? I have Snowflake Junior just strapped to the outside of my bag there. How cute. <laughs> my gloves as well. And these are the boots. My feet are toasty. And I've made it to Robin Yemi. I just went through the passport border control. Um, it was all very easy, I only needed my visa and my luggage was like just there so I'm all set, I've got everything. Um, that was the worst flight I've ever been on in my life. I've been on a lot of flights, <laughs> that was horrendous. If you get on a plane and the captain tells you that there are 43 children on the plane, get off. Oh my gosh, jumping, screaming children the whole time, like climbing on the seats, hitting my chair, like <laughs> It was horrendous, I have a headache because I had to turn up my music to drown it out. Oh, what a nightmare. Yeah, I felt like if you ever played those cooking games where you have customers and they've like a little temperature gauge it's like going down and they're getting more and more angry, that was me on this flight. Like, Jesus. I am glad that the flight ended when it did because I was going absolutely crazy on there. It was absolute chaos, literally right from the moment that we got on. Um, but anyway, I'm off now, I'm happy. And um, I'm gonna go find my ride because I don't know where I go from here. <laughs> Hey guys, I made it to my apartment. Um, I'm gonna give you an apartment tour. So yeah, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> this is our like front door. And then in here, as you come in, on the right is gonna be where my bedroom is. Um, it's gonna be me and someone else in here, but I am here first, so I'm choosing the big bed, uh, which is very nice. And then there's the small one there. I'm gonna feel a little bit guilty, but not that guilty. <laughs> and then in here, I don't know if there's a light. Ah, down here. Um, there is a cupboard, which is pretty decent. Lots of storage space. Oh my gosh, this is outside. It's not snowing, but that's like, frost in the air like it's so cold oh my gosh let me just tell you i have never felt such cold before and oh my gosh it's cold here wow i stepped out of the airport and i was like sweating from being in the airport um and i stepped out of the airport and i had cooled down within like 10 seconds my hands were freezing like you cannot stand outside without gloves or a hat, like my ears are freezing. I was literally outside for like two seconds. Um, yeah, it's cold, it's minus 14 degrees. I have never felt cold, that cold before. I think the coldest it's ever been that I felt is like minus 10, so yeah, here we are. It's only gonna get colder. <laughs> anyway, continuing with the tour. Um, so yes, that's my bedroom and one of my roommates will be joining me. There's some more stuff. Oh my gosh, the toilet roll was 10 euros. Like, is that normal for toilet roll? That was so much. <laughs> oh, there are cupboards here. I didn't even notice these. Oh, with a clothes dryer. More storage. I guess this is for the other person's room. Hanging stuff if you want to hang things. 
that's decent. And then a little shoe rack. Okay, um, now let me show you the most exciting part. The bathroom. Um, you might be wondering, Chelsea, why is this the most exciting part? It's just a bathroom. It's um, a sink. I don't know where the toilet is, actually. <laughs> anyway. And a sauna. Oh, my goodness. There is a sauna. Oh, I am very excited to use that. Like, I actually have a sauna in my apartment. That's crazy. That's like... Oh, let me turn out the light. That's like life goals complete. I've got a sauna. I've got a sauna, everyone. Did you know? Um, right, let me take you in the lounge. You can find out with me where all the light switches are. Ooh, not there. Hello? Oh my gosh, what did I just press? I've absolutely no idea where the light switch is in here. That's good. Dark room. Yeah. Where are the light switches in this place? Oh, okay, right. So, it's not a very strong light, but this is the little dining area. I don't know what this plank of wood is. Oh, it's not. I guess they didn't finish building. We've got a couple of lamps, very nice. Um, kitchen sink. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a kettle. Oh my gosh, it's a C3 kettle, that's exciting. And a coffee maker, hmm. Um, a big old cupboard under the sink. Let me just check if there is actually anything in the cupboards. That's an empty cupboard. Oh, don't tell me that I need like plates. Ah, oh. okay. There's three of everything. There are three of us living here and there's three of everything. So let's hope we don't break any plates. Oh, there's four mugs, but three of everything else. So yeah, let's hope we don't break anything. Um, a very, oh, I guess that's like a spice cupboard. Um, is this the fire alarm? <laughs> what is it with me moving into places that doesn't have the fire alarm attached? <laughs> um, a microwave that's still in the box. That's grand. Cupboard. Oh, a chopping board. A chopping board? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Another. How on earth are you meant to clean these? Today? Oh, 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 that's how. Cutlery. Lovely. Um, utensils, big knife. Oh, things are new here. I guess that's an oven mitt. I'm not really sure. But yeah. And an empty drawer. And, oh, we have an oven. Fantastic. Um, and then a pan and a pot. So you can't make two many very extravagant dinners here because you do not have the pots and pans for that but right let me find out where an earth the light is in here because i want to be able to show you this room and i can't like i think the light just doesn't work because there is a light switch here it just doesn't seem to do anything but anyway i reckon there's enough light that i can show you the room at least this is the other person's bedroom slash uh, lounge um I presume this is just gonna be like their bedroom. I could be really cheeky and move the double bed in here, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a double bed in a single room yet, because then there's this divider. I'm hoping that my roommates will be like nice. I'm gonna make my bed. I'm gonna have a shower. I realized I didn't get the Wi-Fi off of the girl who dropped me off. I don't have data on my phone. So yeah, that's fun. I guess I'm just gonna not have Wi-Fi for 24 hours. That's absolutely fine. Like, oh, I'm dropping my camera. I don't need Wi-Fi. It would just be nice to tell my mum that I've arrived and that I'm alive. I guess she can wait. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe I'll pay for some data um, or something. I'm starving. I should have got more food at the supermarket. Oh, I've got some bourbons. I brought some apples, so I'll have an apple. I brought two apples and it was one euro eighty for two apples. Like, oh my goodness. I mean, they were big apples, but like, holy moly, I don't think I'm going to be eating a lot of apples here. I got two apples, jam, bread, and toilet roll, and I spent 18 euros something. 
it's not cheap here like i'm going to go to the cheaper supermarkets but i think i'm going to be living off the absolute cheapest foods that i can find like pasta and rice and stuff because i'm trying to save money yeah we'll see how it goes i'll keep you updated on the prices of groceries and how that all goes guys what even just happened i turned on the tap and i heard something like it sounded like water coming from underneath the sink and i was like what's that oh it's water coming from underneath the sink it came out of this like thing and there is a plug right behind it oh my gosh what do i do i don't even know who to like contact about this stuff well for starters i'm gonna put that bin there just in case that happens again what is dripping there is a huge puddle on the floor i don't know if you can see uh, yeah it went all in my socks i'm just taking those off but like here can you even see? I mean, you can see the reflection. Yeah. Uh, what a mess. I don't even know what to clean this up with because there's no towels. Like, what do I do? I'm not using the toilet roll that I just paid 10 euros for. Like, no, no, we'll find something. We'll find something to clean it up with. <laughs> what do I do? You know, and just as I was thinking like, oh yeah, this is so much better than when I moved into Paris. Like, you know things work there's heating i actually have bedding well i semi have bedding but i'll get to that in a minute what do i do about this leak also the fridge doesn't work the girl who showed me in she couldn't figure out how to turn it on and nor could i so yeah no fridge it is this is all i have to clean up the mess let's do it this is this is great fun oh christ that's a huge puddle oh my goodness what a mess i only wanted to wash my apple when i got that what a nightmare better be worth it it's currently like midnight yeah it's seven minutes past midnight and i've decided to unpack because basically the bedding situation i have a bottom sheet and i have a pillow and a pillowcase I've got a duvet, I just put it over here for this. There's no sheet to separate me from the duvet. That's kind of gross. I mean, I hope that it's a new duvet, if that's the case, but also like, where's my duvet cover? Like I was told that I would have a duvet cover and I don't know where it is and I'm, I'm tempted to steal someone else's bottom sheet, but then like, what do they do tomorrow when they get here? So like, I'm not doing that. But there is just nothing. So I don't know what to do. So that's why I'm unpacking because my blanket is at the bottom of my suitcase. So I'm gonna use my blanket to like separate me from the duvet and then like email tomorrow asking. I need to ask them to start that leak as well because I'm scared to use the tap again now. It's going well. Guys, I need the toilet and I have no idea where the toilet is. And I've had a very, very, very bad feeling about where it might be. Shall we explore together? Oh my gosh, I really hope that I'm just absolutely blind and, and missing a room. Like, where is the toilet? Like, there is actually no toilet here. Oh my god, no, I think it is. Oh no. Okay, let me get my coat and boots. Oh, oh god. I really, really hope that I am just blind and that the toilet is just like right there in the bathroom i need to check again like i've been in here like three times but like do you see a toilet in here oh my gosh i really hope that this is not the case oh my god what if i get stuck out there oh dear me i'm actually really scared let's go i've got my toilet roll but i really really hope i'm wrong because like what the hell jesus christ it's freezing but this is outside I don't want to shut the door because I don't want to get trapped out here, but like, there's no handle. Oh, there is a handle, okay. Like, is there a light? Oh my god. I mean, this is beautiful, but like, shoot, there's glass. This isn't even outside. Oh my god, it's freezing. Um, I believe that this. Don't. No, thank goodness. Oh, shoot, there's a. I have a key. Okay, it's a shed. Right, well I won't be going back out there for the whole of this contract. <laughs> okay, but seriously, where the hell is the toilet? Is there like something that I'm not understanding about Finnish people? Like, do you just shit in the shower? Like, what do you do? 
I'm really, really confused as to where the hell I'm meant to go to. Don't tell me. <laughs> Stop. Don't be. I feel so stupid. I found the toilet. I found the bloody toilet. Basically, when we came in, she left this door open. So like we came in, she opened the door, or it was already open, I don't know. Um, but there's this door here. And like I was like, oh yeah, there's just a wall behind that. No, no, that is the bathroom. Here I am going outside thinking like, oh crap, I've got to go outside to pee. <sighs> what a relief. There she is. <laughs> There she is. We have to say good old toilet. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm so relieved. But that was a nice little adventure and now I know that we have a garden shed and a balcony. I did not know that we had a balcony, so. That's nice, but I won't be using it. What a faff. What a faff. Where's my toilet roll? I just want to go for a pee. <sighs> I can't believe that I actually went outside. Right, I'm gonna go pee. That was a nice adventure. Let's do it again sometime. I mean, really, I didn't actually think that the toilet would be outside, but like, I had to check because for the life of me, I could not see it inside. <laughs> I didn't think they lived like that here in Rovaniemi. Like, I thought that that was like a little bit more rural. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we are. Found the toilet. I went. I'm happy. I'm gonna have a shower and just go to bed because I am actually really tired. I need to finish my apple. I just left my apple in the other room with the whole toilet. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, with the whole like toilet fiasco. I forgot about my apple. Mm. <laughs> All right, I've made my bed. <laughs> I've got just my own blanket in between me and the duvet. I find that so weird, so strange. Um, yeah, that's my bed. I'm glad that I got the double bed, <laughs> I won't lie. Because look how tiny the other one is, like is that even as big as a single? Oh, I probably is, I just haven't seen a single bed in a long time. <laughs> um, and then I've started to unpack. Do you like my green wall? <laughs> right, I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. Right, time for bed. Me and Snowflake are gonna go to bed. Good night.